In this video, I will show you how to divide a fraction by a fraction. So hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene and let's get started with our first example. When we are dividing by a fraction, we can easily change this division into multiplication by doing the following. We are going to take the numerator and the denominator, the 2 and the 5, and we are going to switch them around. So let's write it down like that. So now we do normal multiplication of two fractions. And multiplication of fractions is really easy like I showed you in the previous video. But I'll also show you step by step in this video. So the first step, we multiply the numerators, 1 and 5, and 1 times 5 is 5, over 3 times 2 is 6. So you multiply the numerators and the denominators to get your answer. And remember to always simplify your answer. But in this case, 5 over 6 can't be simplified. So let's look at one more example. For this example, we have 1 over 8 divided by 7 over 12. And remember, the first thing we do is we're going to change the division into multiplication by swapping the 7 and the 12 around. And I want you to remember, we can only swap around the second fraction, not the fraction before the division sign, but only the fraction after the division sign. So let's do that. And now we only have to multiply these two fractions. So first we're going to multiply the numerators. 1 times 12 is 12. And then we multiply the denominators. 8 times 7 is 56. And as you can see, this fraction can be simplified. And if you're not sure how to simplify a fraction, I have a whole video about that. I will link that video in the description box below and in the cards above. But let's have a look at this fraction. We need to get the greatest common factor for the 12 and the 56. And the greatest common factor between them both is 4. So I'm going to divide the 12 and the 56 by 4. And 12 divided by 4 is 3 over 56 divided by 4 is 14. And as you can see, this fraction can't be simplified anymore. This is my final answer. But like I showed you in a previous video, there's also another method on how I can multiply. For the first method, I multiply the fractions, then I simplify the answers. For the second method, I'm going to simplify the fractions and then multiply. So let's have a look. We have exactly the same example, but before we multiply, we are going to do cross cancellation. So I'm going to see, is there anything I can divide the 1 and the 7 by to simplify them? There's nothing I can divide the 1 and the 7 by. So now let's look at the 8 and the 12. Can I divide the 8 and the 12 by something, by a number, to simplify those two numbers? Yes. I can divide them both by 4. So my simplified fractions is going to be 1 over 2 times 3 over 7. And now that I simplified my fractions, I can go ahead and multiply my fractions. So my first step, multiply the numerators and 1 times 3 is 3. And now I multiply the denominators, 2 times 7 is 14. And as you can see, both of these methods get the same answers. The first example, I simplify the answer. The second example, I simplify the fractions before I multiply. And just like in all my other videos, there will be a worksheet with a memo in the description box below. You can just click on the link and go and download the worksheet with the memo. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.